In this tutorial, we're going to create a powerful procedural oil texture node in Blender from scratch. And as you can see over here, this is how it might, may look. We could adjust the, uh, the amount for an interesting effect. We could adjust the oil size for an interesting effect. We could also play around with the scale the detail and the roughness. Anyways, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Just want to give a big shout out to Space VFX course for Addy Burrows and Gleb. They made a great course that used the old version of Blender and that's where I learned how to do this and I've brought it to the new version of Blender. Thanks to those guys for all their great teachings. How's it, how's it, how's it? The first thing you want to do is set up your scene. So we're going to lift this up over here, as it's more important. Change it to our shader editor, and we're going to create another window over here, and change this to our image editor. And then we'll change this to render view mode. And just for my liking, I'm going to make it a bit darker, and make it numpad 7, so it's in top orthographic view. That's looking good. Now with that selected, um, select only the principal BSDF, press X to delete, shift A, go to the shader settings and go all the way down to emissions. Connect emissions to the surface and boom, there we have it. Next thing we want to do is press shift A. We're going to put an input in. The input would be called texture coordinates. This is a very important input. And we're going to connect generate to color. Currently you can see all the colors, the XYZ RGB colors all mixed in there. And it's not looking quite right for what we want, so we're going to go to our converter. And we're going to use, separate these colors using a separate XYZ. Boom! Now we don't see any colors. However, if we press Shift A and now have a combined XYZ, we now have red. and Because that's the X color, the R. The G, which is green, we, we have green. The B, which is Z, is now blue. Just like that. And obviously you can connect more than one color at the same time. And in fact, we are only going to connect the X and Y axis. I'm quite happy with that. The only other thing I'd like to do, it looks pretty good, but this one modification I want. Uh, we are going to add a math node. I assume it would be in converters. Yes, there we go. Math. And we're going to click it on the X to X axis for separate and combined X, Y, Z. Lift this up. And as it is, it's perfect. Now with this setup, we can just press new. We can change this to texture co for texture coordinates. We need to make sure the pixels is 16. I mean the height and uh, width is 16 pixels and we have to change blank to color grid and then all we need to do is press OK and zoom in scroll with your mouse wheel and there you have it that's looking pretty good to me so now that we've created this from this we're gonna press shift A and we are going to I believe it's an input we're gonna add no no it's a texture we're gonna add a image texture and you can select these three over here, hover your mouse over one of them, holding control and press X, and chuck this over here, and then choose open, and wherever you saved your file, just add it. The one I used was texture coordinates or texture code. It's all the same, I've done this a few times. There we go. Currently though, it's looking super blurry, so the way we fix that, normally blurry is what you want because it means it'll blend a lot easier, but in this case, we want it to look like this and that's looking creme de la creme I'm quite happy with that now that we have this set up uh, we're gonna jump off jump into the more complicated bit right so now we're gonna add a noise texture press shift a textures and go up to noise put it down yeah and press control shift click control shift click again so that you're in color and you can see it's just creating noise for the three colors. It's currently not connected to anything as of yet, but uh, you get the idea. And obviously if you play around with these colors here, it will 
affect the, the scene. I'll put that back on five. And uh, however, we want to connect this to our vector over here. And connect this back into our surface. Select this, press control, or press X to delete that, and there you have it. Now that's quite interesting, and obviously if we play around with this, it will change the shape, and this in itself could be used for some sort of animation style, texture animation style, if needs be. It could be super, super interesting. Um, however, we're going to take it to the next level, because we have something better in mind. I'm just going to put this back on... I think the detail wasn't too, we'll probably change it back to 5 and we want to connect this vector to the generated and we want to connect the generated to the vector and currently it's not picking this up and by the way if you want to know what we've just done here, select this over here and press Control shift click and this is kind of what, what this does at this stage without adding all the other nodes so what we want to do is number one, sele select this texture, what is select this emission, and um, connect it over here. Select this, delete that, and what we want to do is press Shift A, search mix RGB, chuck this in over here, and we want to mess with this like this. Now when we mess with this still creates another very interesting look and feel. That looks like oil paint almost. It's getting there, slowly but surely. Oh, and by the way, uh, if you don't know how a mix um, RGB, well, how this works, if I make it 100% this way, it's only using what's generated here. If I make it 100% the other way, it's not using this at all, it's only using what's generated here. So it's kind of using a mix between when you make it 0 0.5, if that makes sense. All right. It's looking pretty good. Let's bring this all the way down here. All right, so the next thing we want to do is press Shift A. And once again, we're going to add another uh, mix RGB and we're going to chuck this one over here but we're going to change this one to subtract also I'm going to put these on what I would call somewhat default values and I'll increase the fact to maybe 0 0.2 sorry 0 0.2 there we go and make this like that. All right, there we go. Whereas before, this was doing that at scale. Now it is not moving, it's staying in place. Exactly what we want, cool. All right, now because these three nodes kind of form one node, we can select all of them, hold in shift and select all three of them, and then press control G. And just like that, we've created a group. If you want to get out of the group view, we can just press tab. And when you do so, you'll see that this generator goes to the vector as well as the color. If we press tab again, we can see it's because the color is going yeah. However, it doesn't look pretty. If this is purely on aesthetics, you it's not really required. Uh, we can click on nodes over here and we can decide to now watch what happens to this render view. We can decide to remove this color but, and, but all we need to do to fix that is oh wrong way around let's put that back there. There we go is to do, do that and now when we press tab there's only one going in and one going out. Another thing that we might want to fix Maybe we should leave it for now. Now let's do it now quickly. We can also connect the scale so we can adjust the scale. Let's press tab. See now you can adjust the scale on this group node. Press tab. 
but we probably also want to adjust all these settings because they all have their place and just like that we've got, we've got all these settings we can play with which is super super useful press tab to go back into the group mode and I think we almost forgot we need to connect the factor over here as well so this affects the factor as well as all those elements there one thing we haven't covered yet is how do we rename things for example this factor would probably be better off having a name that makes more sense to us so once again uh, if, if this menu has not, a, not appeared in front of you over here you can just press N and then click on nodes and open up the interface and scroll down and click on factor and we can rename the factor over here and I think a more appropriate name would be amount and if we press tab now it says amount at the bottom there which is great we can also rename this which would make sense and this would be um, we would call this vector noise alright and then one other thing that just looks a bit funky I mean this works perfectly fine it doesn't impact anything but we've got a yellow uh, circle going into a purple circle and we can actually fix this by pressing tab to go into edit mode and over here let's go over here we're going to press shift a search I'm just going to type in vector and I'm looking for let me just type in vector vector transform there we go so I'm going to click remove this connection quickly to impact that select this color press the X to delete it connect the vector now it says vector press X to delete this and connect this like that and I guess it should be working what am I missing um, I guess if we press tab ah it's because we deleted our color that went in there that makes sense so we just connect this and that should bring it all back that's perfect so one other thing I recommend you do is to create a fake user for this uh, vector noise uh, because you know it takes a while to create to reach this point doing it from scratch so now it's over here in groups because you've created a fake user for it so that's going to be quite um, useful if you ever need to duplicate this uh, specific function so you don't have to start from scratch alright so I believe we are done with this for now so you can hover over it and press control X oh that didn't work that's supposed to connect directly it's connected and let's press shift A and search for a noise texture and we'll chuck it in over here hopefully that will bring life to this that was once forgotten and obviously you can play around with this to see that it's still working which is perfect but uh, we'll get to the rest in a second it's slowly but surely starting to look a lot more oily the next thing I want to do just to make my life a little bit easier to make sense down the road I'm going to make the scale 5 the detail 5 and I'm going to make sure that this matches so that I can have one operation that works for everything I think that is pretty much everything there but let's also quickly add a shift A search color wrap and this is going to make everything grain scale unfortunately but we can increase the intensity by bringing these two pieces closer together choose at your own discretion uh, this is just an example of how you can do it check this over here check this over here personally I like more more blotches like that I would prefer there we go that's looking pretty good all right if we look at this currently our scale is five our scale is five detail five detail five distortion 
this uh, is the same distortion even the roughness is the same and because of this we might as well just select these two objects holding shift and press ctrl G and create a new group um, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we don't lose the ability to mess with these options and we almost at the finish line here with this procedural oil texture we also want to make sure that the scale is connected to this scale details connected to the detail roughness is connected to the roughness distortion is connected to the distortion so they're all using the same values however we also want to use a math node and we want to connect scale like that and change this to multiply and set the value default value to 1 and there you have it all right uh, just for the sake of making sure that we have we don't lose any functionality I'm going to connect the fact to the fact and I'm going to connect this new one to the value so we can adjust it once you've connected everything you can press tab and this is what we currently have so this one's just called value but value could be anything so let's move it around and see what it does and this is just in my opinion this has got an oil painting effect it looks very high you guys got that weird oil painting effect let's put that on zero for now and because of that I'm gonna press I'm gonna change this this group to called oil I'm gonna make sure this is a fake user so it doesn't get lost so easily I'm going to press tab and in the node interface I'm going to scroll down to the value one and I think it makes sense to rename this and let's call this I guess the oil size that's looking pretty good the other thing I'd like to adjust is to limit it so you can't go negative a hundred thousand let's make the lowest zero and let's make the maximum two hundred and fifty oh, oh that's not 250 that's 250 there we go and then we can press tab and now when you mess with oil size you can't go lower than zero there's a soft lock on that and you can't go higher than 250 but to be honest I'm gonna press tab just from my personal opinion I don't think there's much point going over 100 you can always adjust it here if, if needs be so you can have some sort of soft lock you can st if you want a hard you, you can still do for example 1000 if you type it because it's a hard lock but if you put this on one and you try and scroll this up you can't get past 100 now because it's got a soft lock that's what a soft lock me means if you're wondering cool all right and that's pretty much it we've created our procedural um, oil node texture from scratch this has been quite a journey and by the way all these things do slightly different things which can create a rather remarkable effect and if you wanted to play with this even further you could press tab please don't forget to like and subscribe you could press tab and say you know what I don't want or I want to change the soft locks on any of these values and you can just change it here free willy so you could say the roughness it's currently 0 to 1 let's change it to 0 to 100 or whatever the case might be and you can play around with it and create soft locks that make sense for for you and obviously if you want to create a new one you can just press shift A now that you've created it click group you've got two you've got that vector noise fake user and you've got the oil fake user so if you want to create an oil one you can just chuck this here and boom we've just added it twice it might take a while to load because there's a lot going in here and I've got a potato PC but I'm going to press Control X and just delete that and connect this back in there there we go and if we click on this and press Control X we can't really see what we did Control Z and that's why we have it there but anyways please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one